Theme is this this uh, no, this no, month? Not at all. Actually, um, I I thought you wasn't going to do beer guys now because you got a bit of a bit, you got a bit of a you know, want to tell people what's going on? Yeah, I've got a, a I don't know yet actually, but uh, I had a bit of a, a I don't know a massive pain in the old chest, and so I don't really know what's going on. Uh, yeah. So I'm getting it all checked out, but I want to be sort of healthy and cut out the drink, cut out the bad food. So you don't want to have any beer this week, this one? Then? That, that's basically it. Oh, in that case. <laughs> Grant! <laughs> Hello, bro! Hello, bro! So you're going to drink beer with me this month, yeah? What happened to Elbrick then? Oh, there he is, hello, mate. <laughs> He's off. Yeah, I'll I'm drink. off. I'll, I'll have to drink beer. Oh, well, look. Like, goodies as well. You yeah, get oh. snacks as well. Wow. Well, you got to show them to the people. Oh, well. Simply. Nice, nice, These nice are snacks sausage. for the week. Yeah. So it's basically yeah. peas then, peas, peas yeah. made from yellow peas. Great British yellow peas, I like little yellow peas, they make really nice pea, um, pea, 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 pea tastes. You know, uh, pol- what's it called, that? Pea pudding. Pea pudding. Oh, pea pudding, oh, okay. Yeah. We've got some bran ale, bran. Oh, I love bran Beers, huh? Beer should be bran, oh, that's nice. what I always say. Oh, fool, I'm not ready to... Are we going to... We're going to show them off first, then we put them in the fridge, and then we drink them. Oh, we're actually right. going to take them to uh, my sister. Are we going to take them to Gales and drink them yeah, with Gales? Yeah. yeah. And we're going to do a video at the Gales. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll let her drink some beer as well. This is Brooklyn Bel Air Sour. Oh, I hope it's going to be annoying. He, like, he likes sours as well. I don't know if I do. Yeah, that? exactly. I've never that's, had a sour beer. That's the whole point. You've got to try it out. Yeah. Ye old I stout. I don't like white beer. If there's any white beer, I'm not drinking Wheat it. Wheat beer, yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough. Evil know. twin brewing. <laughs> evil twin. Evil That's twin, you. Yeah. You're my evil twin. Uh, like, ye old stout will never go out of style. Mm. That's a nice basic I like stout can. Well. Yeah, exactly. No, normally it's the, the, the dark ones that we prefer. Mm. Right, let's have a look. Uh, what have we got here? Another can. How much that cost then? Massive India Pale Ale. Oh, I like well, it's, pale. it's a monthly uh, box. I think it's like twenty-four pound or something. A month. Yeah, it works out about three quid a can or something. It's really. And you won't buy <laughs> PSN. Oh no, I don't need PSN. <laughs> I don't need PlayStation Collect uh, thingy Bob. James Beer. James Beer. Interesting weird. Is that Evil name. Twin as well? No, yeah, same brewery. Evil uh, Twin. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like the same package. Oh, there. this is a white beer, I think, or wheat uh, beer. It? This uh, is Berliner Weiss. That's, uh, that's white. Uh, you gotta try it. That's the whole point. Wheat beer. <laughs> it's just a weird. There's some weird labels on these uh, yeah, Evil Twin brewing. Like, they're, they're pasted on. They're not yeah, like, but also the way they're, they're laid out. This one just says, uh, this is, this "I hope this pale ale finds you well." <laughs> It's like weird little messages on the beer cans. Yeah, they're not actually <laughs> names, are they? Well, I don't know. It's the old stout. What was that what I say? We'll, we'll never go out of style. Stout, we'll never go out of style. That's a long week. Oh, yeah. the part of the old <laughs> stout. We'll never go out of style. Oh, the old is, pale. This is one for you. It's a oh, classic, yeah, it's classic lager beer. Oh, they are. Yeah, I like Cap- lager as Captain well. Lawrence. I like lager. Yeah, so I'm not really, I'm really a fan. I do like, um, like special lagers, you know, like this is. Yeah. Could be interesting. But I've, I've got a bit more of a taste for, for different beers now. I used to hate the hoppy ones. You've got a lot of them, but, you? but now oh, I don't even... different. Captain Lawrence. Now I don't even notice the hoppiness uh, so Ooh. much as I used to. It's another Captain Lawrence. This is uh, Effortless Grapefruit IPA. So Ooh. there's a fruity one. Ooh. Right, so we're going to... Grapefruit? Has it got real grapefruit? Because I can't taste it. I can't have it if it's got grapefruit. Really? Yeah, my medication won't have me. Oh, it just says water, hops, barley and yeast. Normally the fruity taste that they, they put in it is normally only from the um, the hops that they use. They, they use oh, a right. citrus okay. hops so or something like that. They okay. give that like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And quite often they'll say oh, it tastes like so-and-so. I it's like, I don't, I'm not getting these fruits. Uh. But, I uh, don't understand why I can't have grapefruit because I eat most other citruses without any problem. That is rather weird. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's the only thing that I've been told that I shouldn't have is grapefruit. So it's be, a shame because I like grapefruit. Is... I've replaced one person with a medical condition with another person with a medical condition. I'm afraid condition. so. You get to that age <laughs> when things start falling off and yeah. you know, Breaking down. Breaking down severely. Yeah. And I'm afraid I'm at that age now. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't have any medical conditions because I don't bother going to the doctor. I know. It's safe. <laughs> you it's, probably have got them, but you won't get them checked out. It, it's safer that way. Much to my chagrin. <laughs> How many times have I told you? you got to go and see your doc, doc. Yeah. Well, we're taking these to our sisters, put them in the fridge, yeah. and then she'll be back to drink them in a moment. Hey. Shut up, dude. We're started. Yeah. 
This way, Hello. look this way. Hi. Now you're going to edit try, it out. No, I'm not keeping that bit in. It's like trying to herd cats. At least I've got Elric slightly trained for this show. But it's, yeah. You know who that is. Me then. No, because you're just already in the first part of the video. Oh, we yeah. kicked Elric out, remember? That's right, yeah. So it's the beer guide, it's me and Grant this week. And uh, apparently they're all New York based beers. And I've completely forgot to get the. Um, the little book that we need. I'll let you pour this while I go and get the book. So this oh. is the Brooklyn Bel Air Sour. Yeah. I'm going to go and get the little it's four and a half percent volume in alcohol. And if you buy it in Quebec, you can get ten cents refund for recycling it, which is really good. I wish they did that more here. And it's very dark on this camera. I can't see myself in the screen now, so maybe Bro will sort it out when he gets back. But in the meantime, I am not looking forward to this because I've never really enjoyed this type of beer. But we shall try. I'll do my best. I'm surprised Graham is drinking it because it's a sour. Everything's a little. Is it lager? Or... Okay, found the book. We've got the wheel in here, tells you all the different flavours and that. Uh, so, so well, it's all New York ones this time. And what was this? Uh, Brooklyn. That's the name of the company, I'm sorry. Bel, Bel Air Sour. Bel Air Sour. So you don't, you've not had any sours before, you don't, or you've tried them before, you don't like them. I don't know if I've tried them before, but it doesn't like sound really. It does sound weird, but they're not too bad actually. We don't get that many sours. Oh, actually, it's not even on the blinking, it's not even in the book. Why not? Sometimes they send you ones that aren't in the book. There's been a bit of a um, problem getting hold of some of the beers during the lockdown and that, so they've not been able to get all the ones that... What's that then? Oh, there it is. Right. <sighs> so, supposed to be able to read, but obviously... You know, tasting notes. Brooklyn Bel Air Sour is full of surprises. This sour ale starts up with bright notes of tropical fruit, yet finishes crispy and gently tart. It's a trip that's laid back, breezy, and completely refreshing. So a wheel out of four, out of five, sorry. He's got four sour, three hoppy, three fruit, uh, two in smooth and bitter, one each in malty and sweet, and zero in floral. Mm -hmm. So tuck in. So what type of tart does it turn into? You can smell a bit of fruit in the smell. Yeah, well, can you? Can you not get a little fruity hint to it? No, yeah, well, I'm trying to work out what kind of fruit it is. Yeah. Probably won't be any real fruit, just they use different hops to create that fruity feel, that fruity flavour. Oh, is it, is it bad? Is it rough? Fuck. <laughs> Pardon me. No, I, I didn't think I'd like it. <sighs> yeah. That's not beer. If, that, if, I, if, if I didn't know it was supposed to be sour, I would You'd think, think it was off. gone off. Yeah. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Keep trying. That, that, I mean, I used to work in pubs and yeah. I, I, did, I dealt with real elves yeah. from, from proper barrels and everything. Mm. And quite often, some of them weren't particularly liked and they'd go over. And when you tasted them once they'd gone over, that's exactly what this tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, um, oh, yeah. Keep persevering. No, I can't. <laughs> I think you found the second mouthful is better than the first. No. <laughs> yeah, you're not feeling the no. progression of niceness as no. you go along. No. I don't mind it actually. It has got a bit of weird, like you say, that sourness is just a completely oh. bizarre kind of no, flavour. No, that's not, that's not nice. <laughs> I don't see anybody who drink that for pleasure. Mm -hmm. It makes you, you only get that feeling where your mouth and inside your mouth goes all sort of tight. Yeah. And then starts to, a, like a pre vomit kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. When you get yeah. a little bile in the back of your throat. Yeah. Do you want to call and it? And it goes all watery. And yeah. You yeah. Feel, yeah. 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 No, it's really like for you. Yeah. Are you going to be able to finish it? Man, I'd drink anything, you know. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy it. No, fair enough. Fair enough. you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I'm doing this for mm. pure entertainment. Right? For science. I'm going to turn the light on as well because the light outside keeps going on and off, doesn't it? Hey guys. Unless you like sour beer, do not buy this. Elric loves sour beer. He's, he likes it. I don't mind this actually. Um, yeah, well that's Elric. I'm not Elric. Yeah, I know. Of course, everyone's got different flavours. We different we, we tastes. We, we, we say this all the time. But yeah, it is definitely a weird no, one. I swear. If, if I had that in my... <laughs> if I had bought that... If we had that in, a, in the pub I was running, or any of the pubs I ran, and I hadn't tasted it, and it was in a keg, yeah. and I poured it out for the first time. You'll be dinking it all down the back. And I would have got rid of it, yeah. yeah. I'd have sent it back and said, no, it's gone off. Yeah. <laughs> Swear. It definitely is a very weird flavour, isn't it? But I kind of, I don't mind it, actually. It's kind of like, do you know what? You do get that, that hot little citrusy lemon flavour yeah. afterwards, don't you? Like, sort of dragging yeah, on I don't mouth. think that's something you want in a beer, though, do you? No. It's, well, there's very few sours, so I'm assuming, it. I'm assuming there's not many people who do enjoy no. the sours. We, you, you want malty, and yeah. that's what I like. Yeah, we prefer malty as well. I like malty and hoppy, yeah. not like... <laughs> 
I don't like that's like cat piss. He yeah. looks like cat piss. Yeah, he does well. Man. To be honest, I don't mind the one actually. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm, I'm loving it, but um, it certainly wouldn't be my favourite. Do you know favorites. what though? Mm. And you said the second one, not so bad. It's about the fifth mouthful. one. The fifth mouthful. You're starting to get in the taste for it now. I'm starting to think it's not quite <laughs> yeah. my first violent reaction. Yeah, but it is that. It definitely is that. It kind of, you have to get used to it. Mm. And I don't know if I have. My stomach mm. still feels like it wants to throw it all up. Yeah. But I, I think you sort of get used to it, but I don't think I never get used to it enough that I want to have a second pint. No, I'd never buy that. You know? No, not I certainly wouldn't catch me buying a case of it yeah. for Christmas or anything. I didn't think I'd like it. Mm. I never had, I never really enjoyed, but I don't like wheat beer either. No. And that kind of has a weird sort of sour oh. taste to it sometimes. Mm. And uh yeah. No, I would never buy that. I'd never buy another beer that said it was a sour beer either. <laughs> yeah, you no, I'm more of a hoppy man. I yeah. like stouts and, and dark beers. So malts so. and you like hops as well. Yeah, I yeah. like hoppy ones. Oh. I, some hoppy ones are nice. I've not always been a fan of hoppy ones. No, some I wasn't been really good. I wasn't a fan of hoppy when I first it's the first started doing this, but you kinda like, got you're used to it now. Doombar. Yeah, you yeah, find Doombar, Doombar is a like, fantastic beer. You think it's hoppy. It's a little bit hoppy, yeah. yeah but it's not, not overly. No. There's but some of these some of these American style APAs. I like yeah. Hop City. Uh, like they're just like, we, yeah. Like you get a. a like, it's like. It's that, like that, excuse me. Yeah. That's a reaction to me. It's like know. Hops. Are like, you remember that, you remember that, that movie uh, Scum with a guy in the potting shed? Yeah. Uh, and the Hops are like the other two who, join, who follow him into the potting shed like, to your taste buds. So. <laughs> That's a really funny <laughs> an, an, an <laughs> allegory. Or an analogy. Or or a, an analogy. <laughs> Oh man, that's a horrible thing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I mentioned it on my um my podcast once because some band did a, a song called In the Potting Shed or something in the Potting Shed. Oh, right. And I was like, I said, I've watched, I watched that movie Scum and it never it made me always want to uh, you know, avoid, avoid, avoid going to Ball, yeah, no, avoid going to Ballstool. I said, avoid oh, going right, to Ballstool. Yeah, yeah. And come to think of it, I also avoid Potting Shed just to be on the safe side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. A horrible. All right. Oh, I hope well, we normally score out five. Oh. I try and base on how many can points. I, can I, does it have? Can I give it like fractions? You can. I'd give that one seventh. So you drink one seventh of a pint, and that'll be enough for you. Yeah. Not even point five. No. Okay. Well, well, okay. I'll give it one. I'll give it one. I, I could probably stomach a pint of that, but I don't know. Yeah. You maybe once you got to the second half of a pint, you'd start getting more, but more tasteful but I'm kind of like feeling no. I have got that all over sort of head tingle of, of citrus now yeah. like of like Does it not, it's not nice though it's kind of like I've been gargled in toilet blocks yeah. <laughs> sucking on a toilet yeah. block obviously a lemon flavoured one obviously. yeah not, that's probably a good yeah. analogy yeah, yeah. right hit, hit, hit us with the next beer okay. we always try and finish on a, on a malty one so we leave one of the okay. stouts till last okay let me avoid the. Uh, don't drop anything out of the fridge. Don't want to drop anything out of the fridge. <laughs> it's a pale ale. Should we go with a pale ale? Yeah, that's the nearest this one. This is Evil Twin Brewing. Evil it's, Twin. Uh, quite basic in its. Uh, he's not my evil twin, he just looks a bit like me. Yeah. Oh, I look like him since he's older. We are twins though. No, <laughs> isn't I'm three and a half years yeah. old. <laughs> right. Is that I hope this pale ale finds you well? I hope this pale ale finds you well, <laughs> yes. It's a very nice. Uh, it's in the nice in weird cans, weird names yeah. for them, isn't it? It's They're like weird. basically stuck on labels. Yeah. Which is cool, but I've never seen that. I quite like that orange. I've not quite a nice seen orange. that in a can before. Yeah. Well, we actually did once start to say we're going to do like favourite can of the uh, of the week as well, so... Oh, are we? Yeah, maybe we'll okay. do that. So we'll think about that for later. Yeah. Right, so this one, tasting notes, hoppy is four, bitter is three, mm -hmm. uh, floral and fruit are three. You can be pouring if you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, smooth and multi are one, uh, sweet and sour are zero on both. So you've got no sour in this one at all. 5% uh, ABV. Evil Twin Brewing was started up nomadically in 2010 by Jeppe Janit Bergasso. In 2012, Jeppe and his family moved, decided to make New York their home and join the burgeoning local beer scene. In 2016, Jeppe was approached with the opportunity to finally root his ideas and dreams and Evil Twin Brewing NYC was born. Evil Twin Brewing NYC went to ex want to expand upon the traditions of innovation and further the intimacy of a local neighbourhood microbrewery. 
With more control over our recipes, we are able to experiment on new flavours while perfecting the classics. Really good. Uh, tasting notes, an all citra hopped pale ale. Oh, bright, no, citra is not citrusy though. Oh, okay. It's more, it's just a hoppy, it's the name of the hop, so oh, it's just right. quite a hoppy kind of thing yeah. to it. Um, I think citra also might have a little fruitiness as well. Um, mm. An all citra hopped pale ale, bright refreshing with notes of citrus fruits, mm. tropical vibes, and oh, a yeah. light nut refreshing bitterness from that the hops. That's, That's what nice. it says. Nice Did I clean. remember to read the tasting notes on the other one? I don't, no, it didn't have any tasting notes, weirdly, that last one. Mm. Strange. It's because they know it's tasty. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, we're not going to try and kid you to say it's yeah. nice. We're yeah. just going to leave out the tasting notes to make you discover for yourself how disgusting it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I hope this pale ale finds you well. Cheers. Very small mm. amount of scent. No, I thought it had a good scent. It's not overbearing. Mm. So I mean, not very. That's very hoppy. strong. I like that. Mm, yeah, that's quite a little hot. Quite clean. Yeah. It's okay. the little. Yeah. Mm. I, I like sort of describe the. This is a. This is a nice beer that. Although it's quite strong, I think. Is it? What is it? Four and a half? Was uh, it? Five. Five. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite strong for a session beer, but that's. If it weren't so strong in alcohol, it'd be a very nice session beer. Mm. It's nice and uh, crisp. And it's got a little, yeah, it's got a little crisp kind of hoppy attack and a sort of slight note of it afterward. But it's not one of those ones that gets you back of your throat and starts making you go. Eh. Yeah. Sometimes uh, the hot ones can do that. Yeah, yeah. But then it, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent no, sure. That's very nice. I like that. I'm not hundred percent sure if it's the fact that my mouth has got more used to the hoppy feeling now. From doing this for like over a year of bro, we've drunk beer since we were like yeah, but not that, like, not light <laughs> beers though. We've always been brand oh, yeah, yeah, beer, we brand have, yeah. beer. This, brand. this is yeah. this is your new um, you know light. micro brewery yeah. hoppy American style IPA. It's very so, good. Oh like yeah, it. you're not doing chin chin yet. Or chin bottoms chin. up. Yeah. <laughs> bottoms up. Mm. I always thought I was being rude when they said bottoms up, but then they mean the bottom, yeah, bottom of the glass. glass yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the bottom of the glass. Bottoms up. Yeah, that's a strange way of toasting. <laughs> yeah. You thought it was a completely different stuttle party, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you right. thought it was a point shed party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. You're drinking quick anyway, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you know me. Mm. So now we've got, how many have we got to get through? Ah. Oh. Only eight. Only eight. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Only yeah, eight. I'm saying. Shame. Go to pop to the local and get some more. <laughs> Um, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've, it's not it. one. No, I don't mind it. But it's not one I would drink a lot of. You know what I mean? Mm. I, you know, it's all right. But I think I'd um, get tired of it pretty, quick, pretty quickly and be searching out a different pint if I was in a pub. You know? Yeah. Well, we always, we always favour the darker ones first, anyway. Mm. But you, but you quite drink quite a bit of lagers, aren't you? Though? you I do drink lagers. I like, that. I like, I like, I like um, a bit strong. You like yeah, a bit strong. I like strong mm. Polish lagers. It. Yeah, because they don't taste like lager. Mm. They taste like malty and you know beery, oh. which I like. And then they are strong, and mm. I, I like you know strong beers. Yeah, drink less, get, get the yeah, job done. Get a job done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you drink less of them, so you don't get such a fat belly. Yeah, you know? but you get the effect. But you get the effect. Being, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being happy. Hey, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It was much better than that first one. Yeah. Well, like... Oh, it's definitely a different... I mean, that was a seventh out of mm. one point percentage or whatever, yeah. one point. And, and this is about... What were we up to five? Yeah. Right? I'd say it was a four. Yeah, you drink yeah. four pints of that. I drink... Oh, was that four pints of it? Yeah. Yeah, I could drink four pints of that. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's, that's different score system. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I, I like Pedro. I like Pedro, though. Yeah. I reckon... Um, there's nothing else in the pub. Yeah. I'd have a couple of pints, and I think they'll be after. I'll be like, mm, yeah, I'm not that first, you know. Or, oh, okay. You know, I mm. think. But you're a dark beer. Yeah, man. I think the hops would get to me after. Well, we both like dark. Yeah. I like, but I do like pale ales. Yeah. As well. I mean, this isn't the best pale ale I've ever drunk. No. But it's not bad. No. It's, it's all right. It's, I think it's, it's worthy. Like of, you say, it's good. Three and a half. Happily, four. Happily, happily drink a session. Yeah, I'll drink it, a few. Yeah. If it wants a strong, mm. I could definitely drink about four pints of that. Mm. But because that would be for me, that'd be like an afternoon session beer. I think if I was out for not that I do that very often, but back in the day, I, I think would, on a hot day, it'd be good as well. Yeah, if it was like four percent or mm. even three point eight, that would be yeah. You know, three three and a half to four percent. Then you could drink a few pints that in the afternoon and not feel yeah. Lunchtime without like getting oh. silly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've yeah. still got like 
oh, I do like it's kind of like uh, yeah you know, yeah I'll get in my eyes you get in your eyes it's a bit hoppy it's like well your eyes start feeling a bit oh Mm. <laughs> don't know what that one's about <laughs> no, never that. maybe that's just me then yeah. we'll, we'll see what it's like when we get to the grapefruit flavoured one. Oh yeah that's another thing it's got a, it's another not, weird one I've got to be careful because I'm not allowed to have grapefruit yeah I don't think it's actually got any grapefruit in it but I'll read well, the notes it, when we it, get to that it, one has it got no it's not in the ingredients and that's no I don't, I don't think so that's so right. let's see what's it's probably just the hop yeah and right. I think so probably a, a citra or something like that mm. most of the time they say they've got they, they, they quite often they what we say they write checks that their asses can't cash because they say it tastes of this this and this and this yeah and you have a taste you go well I can't bloody taste that 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 or that mm. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean so come yeah. on, do next one next one you're well, the fridge boy you're on as soon as you're next to it we're going through these quick well that's it that's the whole that's well, it this one's got a nice red label okay that must be James beer it is James beer James beer. It's James beer. Right, tasting notes. A slightly tart lemony beer mm. brewed after old German traditions with something called a sour mash that creates a natural sourness. Oh dear, I'm sorry bro. The addition of strawberry and olives brings an interesting modern twist that combines umami from the olives with the fruitiness from the berries. This sounds absolutely crazy, but it's got a sour level of four. Oh. It's got the same sour level as that last one that you didn't like. Floral of three, fruity of four, one for sweet. It's got nothing on smooth, bitter, hoppy, or malty. I'm not going to enjoy this. This is a weird one. I've never seen one like this before. Evil That's... twin, what have you done to me? They have some crazy notions, don't they, these guys? All right, so this is James Beer. Mm. Well, it's actually our beer, but well, we're going to drink it. Yeah, we're going to drink James Beer. I've never, I've never seen olives being mentioned. No, never. Gosh, did you did you read the? Oh, oh look gosh. at the colour of that. It's kind of oh oh, it's, that's like medicine. I don't yeah. know actually. It's kind of a little bit better. It's kind of got a ready kind of. I is don't it, know. Is it got of, sediment in the bottom? I think it could be a bit sediment-y. Oh my gosh, that's a dark, that's a wheat beer. That looks like. Oh, classy. It doesn't look too far off after I had the operation on my little fella. <laughs> <laughs> what, no. when you were pissing blood as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh man, have a look at the ingredients. Does it say it actually has some olives in it? Or you, you like olives, so you're all right with that. I like olives, yeah. I'm not too fit. And olives and berries, what a weird combination. I know, yeah. I, I don't know if you can make that out, but you can't see through that. This no. is really uh, upsetting to me. That is a. Uh, as I say, as a form of bar. Yeah, it's probably not been. It's probably um, organic. Manager. It's not been. They've not had fish finger to clear uh, it out. Finance, yeah. It's, yeah, that's probably all it is. We've, we, we do get Fair a enough. few. So are you one of the ingredients? Clouds, yeah, it's no, it's actually, it says ingredients. Olives, water hops, yeast, strawberry, olive, yeah, oh barley, oats and wheat. Oh my okay, God. Okay, here we go. Chin chin. Olives. I don't, oh, that's You tried it yet? No, I haven't. I'm Let's just, go. That is, that, 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 put it this way, if the first mouthful or the first taste is with the eye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, again, as a bar manager, I would say, you can't drink that, sorry mate. Oh, you're even the same, mine looks like it's a different hue to yours no, slightly. No, no, no. Uh, it's slightly, it's I like said, a lava lamp. It's got, it's, you got floating bits of sediment, like, it's just like <laughs> orangey bits and reddy bits, like, as if they're not quite mixing up properly. Like the olive water and the, and the berry water aren't quite yeah, mixing. You see how thick that is? I definitely would not recommend that to anyone if I am still Not getting any scent. Working as a barman. Bar manager. Would you get any scent on that? I can't look at any Mandle. olives or any berries or anything. <laughs> no. Okay. We've got a winner <laughs> for the worst beer I've ever tasted in my life. Oh. And it's even better than that one. Oi. That's not right. Ugh. That's got to be wrong with that. Oh my gosh. Is it Jay Day's? James, you can keep your bloody beer, mate. I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, that's foul. That is. <clears throat> that is that is worse than my reaction. It's like medicine. Yeah. It's best before July 2021. It's 3.5 percent. Olive and strawberry. Are you getting any olives? Maybe I'd have, maybe I'd a little. Uh, there is fizzy. nothing about this beer that has anything good about it. It's kind of fizzy. Do you think it's a bit fizzy? Yes. Mm. Well, beers have got some gas. It's like, a bit, it's like a sort of more kind of... But it's more like a gone-off fizz. Effinescence. I don't know. You know, it oxidises. Yeah. Why? That's what this is like. I can't say I've got any massive flavour. It's just a little bit of sourness more than yeah. any actual flavour. I think I think it's the fact that the first uh, taste is of the eye, and the eye is so off-put by the colour and everything. It's kind of... I kind of expected the it to be The fact horrible. that it's thick 
and he can't mm. see anything through it. Look, it's horrible. Absolutely no, there's no redeeming qualities for this. I think this is going to be half a point. No, that's more. That's I said a seventh, didn't I? Yeah. No, this is so a, you, really, you really need to this work is a, This is a sixteenth. <laughs> Right, so it's like a mouthful and that's enough. Yeah, I'd say it. you're gonna finish that. I am because <laughs> that's part of the show, isn't it? Yeah. Don't have a fucking choice, do I? <laughs> if you, yeah, I mean, if you actually ordered this in the thing, you go, that's off, mate. That's what the same. I that's would, I'd look at it and go, yeah. mate, you'd have to you change that, mate. You have no, you have no before I even, even tasted it, I would have gone, no, mate, look at that, that's all right. Oh man, but it's, it's we have a thing we say it's not really a beer because like it tastes like, it's like something, but it's not. It doesn't taste, it certainly doesn't taste it, like a beer. You know what beer. it looks like and tastes like? Orange juice has been in the fridge for a month. Yeah. Once you've opened it, mm. that's mm. what it's like, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a kind of a marmy, but. I remember what I was thinking when I, my first mouthful, it was like drinking pickleball water or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a Again, I'm getting that. Yeah, the sickly kind of yeah. mouth feel. I yeah. think Eric probably dodged a bullet by avoiding this uh, yeah. so far. Why but do you like, like this? sour, oh, so no. maybe you would like this actually. Does he really like it? Do you think does, he says that? No, he does like he says he does like a sour. He says he's not being pretentious. <laughs> Yeah, he's a very trendy guy there, Eric. <laughs> I mean, he, he always goes out wearing the right fashionable trousers and that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You do kind of get a little hint of a... He gets some army. Yeah, but it's not nice. <laughs> it's kind of like... Yeah, it's like screwing up Do you know face. what it's like? It reminds me of... Yeah. The taste of chickpeas. Chickpeas? Yeah, at the back. Right. You don't get that chickpea taste. I like chickpeas. No, yeah, I like chickpeas. Yeah. But you know the water. Right in the drink. You know the, when you get in the tea. I've never opened a can you of know? chickpeas and drunk the liquid. No, that's what it tastes like. I <laughs> swear to you, it tastes like the liquid. In a chickpea. And then it's got that horrible kind of like. Uh, chickpeas. Um, bit of fizz as, uh, as like yeah. a kicker to it. It's got a. Yeah. The this fizzy, is what, the, this the reminds fizz, me of when we were, used to raid Dad's drinks cabinet and we'd pour little, little bits of everything into, into a glass yeah. to get drunk. And the colour would go weird. Yeah, and the colour yeah. would go weird and it would taste like oh, this kind of what this would taste like. Not as bad as this. Oh. We wouldn't have drunk it. Mm. We used to do something with martini and ginger ale. That yeah. was nice. That's true. We, did some, we, made, we made some good ones. We made some good cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we experimented in yeah. our dad's yeah. cabin. Yeah. When he weren't there, of course. Yeah, right. obviously. Sneak it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's that, it's that fizz at the end that kind of like drags in your gob, doesn't it? That is definitely like the aftertaste is like you drank some juice out of a can of chickpeas. Oh, it's foul. Yeah, it's getting a 16 oh, oh, from me. I still feel that's created that same feeling oh, in my yeah. mouth that that did. But oh, I'll get another bit quickly before it wants the taste of that. Do you want some water to? Well, yeah, maybe. No, no, no. Let's see what. Have a stim, please, made from great British yellow peas. So, grab the beer as well? Yeah, grab the beer, yeah. Uh, this is the next one on the list. Oh. The classic lager beer, Captain oh. Lawrence Brewing Company. Oh, you scored it at 16, I'm going to give it 0.5. Okay, do we make note of these? Half a pint, now we've got to try and remember at the end. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's always good. Mm. When we do a 12, a 12 mm. bottle one and we can't remember Very nice. what we mm. said about it. Lightly right. salted, simply. They're nice. So far, Evil Twin has been quite evil. The, yeah. the, the Pale Ale was alright, but that James beer, I wouldn't even call it beer. No. I would call it James Concoction. Yeah. Or James Weird Experiment that went wrong. James Mumfold orange juice left in the yeah. freezer without a cap on. Mm. Right, so this is American Lager. Yeah. This easy drinking lager is light in colour and body and has a very delicate flavour profile. We brewed for our fans that are looking for an unhoppy offering. Very smooth and easy to drink. Mm. Must be poorly when I'm, I'm reading really broke. Yeah. Lager, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Mm. And the ingredients. This has got very low will. Ingredients are water, hops, barley, and yeast. So that's quite simple. Yeah. Practically, there's no hoppy. No, there's only one hoppiness, one sweet, three in malty, and five in smooth. Mm. 
And then nothing else. No floral, no fruit, no sour, thank goodness, no bitter. Mm, so this is just going to be a smooth, hopefully this will smooth away the, the sour bubbles just still fizzing in my mouth. Yeah. It's like I've got like a chemical reaction still going on in my mouth. I feel like that watery yeah. Yeah. in my mouth, you know when you want to be sick. Yeah. It's fizzy. Oh. Alright. Cheers. Wow, that's really, clearer. really clear though, isn't it? That's kind of like super clearer. clear. But it's kind of like really light as well. Yeah. Like a, not even a, like a yellowy kind of lagery colour, it's lighter than that. It smells like lager. Mm. That's got a funny aftertaste. Isn't it? It's a bit, oh, it's a bit funny as well, isn't it? Mm. Not, not that unpleasant. Mm, no, a bit weird though, a bit, not quite what I was expecting. Right. I wouldn't say it was smooth. Hmm. Okay. That would be the first word that came in my head. But then, uh, what I said is, we, don't, we always can say that oh, that's not right. We don't think that's right. But I just think maybe our palates don't know what the different, you know, what the different feelings should be for these different things because they're not that well, sort of I connoisseurs. Think, I think it's smooth. I think it's saying like Guinness. Yeah. That's a smooth drink. Yeah, I would think that as well. That's not a smooth drink. That's, that's creaminess. Drink. That's got a fizz in it. And that, you, you yeah, know, smooth is not fizzy. No, is it? I don't think so. It doesn't also it doesn't, to me. It doesn't taste like uh, like a classic lager because it, it's got hardly any even lager notes to it. To me, it seems like I'd call this water plus because it feels very really like water, but with yeah. just like a tiny little hint of something else. What's, your, what's the <laughs> ABV? Four point two, isn't it? Oh, mm. it's another like session beer, really, isn't it? Hmm, but. I'm not saying I'm very fond of it. It's so gentle as to be, you know, completely bit, nothing much. It's not good. Like, it's, at least it's not like violently fizzy yeah. and uh, sour. No, no, that's. But it's got it almost almost got no character. No, of its real, own. no real redeeming qualities. No, it's just like wet. I think on a, on a hot day. Oh, I'll have a pint of wet, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's wet and fizzy. Yeah, wet, slightly fizzy, and uh, I guess it will be refreshing. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. Nothing exciting. Mm. Mm. Maybe that's just our taste of beer. Mm. So. But it's not even. You a, almost wouldn't know it was alcoholic. It's not even a nice lager. Mm. I mean, I well, I'm not, you're not, not a fan, fan of lagers, yeah. but there's no twang like you get with lager. Nice. You get a little twang, yeah. which is, I suppose, your you, you flavour in your, your hops. Yeah, hops yeah, give you the twang. Yeah. But there's no hops in this. No, one, it's got one hop. Oh, one for hops. Yeah. So that's why it's, it's just free malty. So maybe, free of malt? Yeah. Mm. Um, that's, that's why it hasn't got a colour. The malt is more like flavour. Well, it is flavour as well to the drink, but it also colour. So, malt was always, we always, always think malt was being the dark one as well, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. It's not too bad though. Once you get to near, well, you've had a well. What am I starting there? And I've got down to here. Yeah. And now I'm thinking, yeah, you know, it's it's drinkable. Mm. It's drinkable. It's not. It, it's it, not. It's not something like. Uh, what can I think of? Like Kozel, mm. uh, Czech beer. That's lovely Kozel. That's got lovely notes to it. Uh, what else is there? I can imagine that. It, yeah, I don't know if you know those beers. They're yeah. Pilsners as well, like a decent Pilsner. Like uh, Budweiser, the original Czech one, not the American rubbish. Yeah. Um, so the taste of taste of wet wood. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I can't yeah. drink that Budweiser, not the American one. But I like yeah. the Czech one. That's lovely. You should check that out. <laughs> <laughs> check that yeah, out. good one, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like um, boring. Yeah. But it's not not it's not disgusting. Not sour. It's not sour. No. It's not like anything you'd go. Oh, I really can't drink that. Mm. But it's not anything that goes, oh, I really want another pint of it. Yes, perfectly summed up. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I'll be like, yeah, you know, it's not that, nothing, nothing to you it. Immediately, like it's you to said, me, you'd this go, to me is for you, people who want to drink. Yeah, people, maybe this is a drink for people who want to get drunk and have a drink but don't want to have any flavour. Yeah. You know what I mean? People are like, oh, I don't like the twang. Yeah. I don't like the, I don't like the maltiness. Yeah. Like, this is a, this is a pint of smooth nothing. <laughs> That will get you drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the alcohol's working because I can feel it yeah. working. But it would be like you know, this is the alternative to having an alcohol pill. I don't think you'd enjoy it. No. <laughs> I what I'm saying is, you wouldn't hate it. Yeah. It's quite 
<laughs> drinkable. Excuse me, I've got too much gas in me. It's quite drinkable, oh. but it's not one that I think I'd go mm. back and say I'd like some more of. Yeah. And I say it's drinkable because it has got nothing going for it. It's drinkable the fact that you can drink it without absolutely, oh, I don't like this bit, I don't like that bit. It's just like, mm. you know, you can just like drink the same as water's drinkable. You know, it's, it's, trying, like, it's trying to be a lager, but I don't think you've even got that right. <laughs> no. It's just gone for smooth. Like I say, it's, mm. it's like, uh, it's like an alcoholic drink for people who don't yeah. want to, to, to taste anything. Yeah. You know? I think it's down low on the scale of good lagers. Mm. But imagine if it's for people who don't like the twang of it, it goes. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. people lager would like it. You know? Because mm. I'm especially on a hot day. Like our dad. Yeah. Our dad don't um, like twang, does he? He's like certain ones, doesn't he? He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. quite like lager. But there are he's certain he's ones like that give like twang. Yeah. yeah. They, they, that he doesn't he uh, always appreciate, say. yeah. He always says it's too twangy, yeah. he don't like it. You know, and he'd he get his pint and he'd go like this. He likes to keep the head on he it. He likes to get in there. I said, Dad, yeah. all you're doing is cleaning the bubbles in it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I said, you are. You get flatter and flatter the more he does it. <laughs> Eventually, but for a little while he retains the head. Yeah, but he all goes, what? <laughs> about immediately. I don't know why he even, uh, but that's just always been his thing, isn't it? Oh, He's yeah, always done yeah. that. Is some brown ale? Now? Yeah, some a brand brown ale. Yeah, proper brand beer. That's yeah, a, this is a nice label. That's a contender. That's a contender like for, label. for best label, actually. Definitely, I think it is the best label so far. Yeah, I think the other ones have got some good simplicity to them, but this one's got a bit of character. Yeah. I like them. It's like I don't know what, what you call that kind of style. Smooth and rich. Yeah, that's what I like. Smooth and rich session ale. Cool. Very nice. Right, it's Nubra. This or, or beer Newberg, was... Newberg Brewing Company. Uh, tasting notes, virgin on black. This beer pours with a light tan head and beautiful ruby highlights in the glass. Mm. Dry and roasty, our brown ale features smooth notes of chocolate, coffee and toffee. Mm. Despite its dark appearance, it is light in body, making it a session ale to be enjoyed over and over again. Oh, four and a half percent now, I think that's a bit high for a session ale. Mm. Come, just be pouring when I'm reading, bro. Just be pouring when I'm reading. <laughs> right, so malty is four, smooth is three. So bossy. No, I'm just not bossy. I'm just telling you how it is. You, you're just a new boy. You're just a new boy. Needs to be watch the hair. Watch the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be taught with the ropes. Right, yeah. Malty is four, smooth is three, bitter oh, is yeah. two. No, this is more like it, folks. Mm, yeah, this, this is, is what we like. Floral, fruit, sweet, and hoppy are one, and zero on the sour. Thank yeah, man. Oh, I've squeezed that tin, sorry. That's alright, no one can mess. I'll squeeze that every bottle. I do see a little bit of red notes in there. It's a lovely can. Yeah, the it's got lots of really going on there. Character and what does that say on that little bit there? There. Featuring rich flavours of chocolate toffee and roasted coffee, our brown ale pays homage to generations of British brewers who perfected this style. Yeah. Cheers! Well, is that American then? Yeah, I think it's very Newburg. I'm not Newburgh. sure Newburg. Newburgh. I don't know, I was wondering if it was... I said Newburgh first of all, but it looks like... Because Edinburgh, Edinburgh is like that, isn't it? Edinburgh is spelt Berg, but it's Edinburgh, isn't it? I can't remember. Yeah, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, it looks like, doesn't is it? it? Sure it does. <laughs> I'm forgetting myself now. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just taste it. As yeah. if the head doesn't last long, does it? No, it doesn't. Didn't we, didn't we get that look? That the thing is, you haven't put it in a fresh glass. Yeah. All the other things yeah, it stopped it from giving it... Oh, mm, that's nice. You can smell a little bit of nuttiness, I think. And chocolatey. Mm. Not overly chocolatey. Chocolatey? Mm. Choc chocolate tea. If we have to stop speaking cockney because they won't understand us. Let's try and speak properly. No, they, they, love, they love the cockney lingo. Alright. Oh, oh yeah. Well this pig's ear is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous mate. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I really like these. I've not had them before. They're nice. They don't eat them all. What? Say something for me. Oh. I'm still trying to wash the blandness of the last one out of my mouth. Mm. Um, yeah, I can see what he means about it being quite light. Like, he does yeah. feel like he's not like a heavy kind of um, no. toffee, kind of almost like no, thick, yeah. you know, sticky kind of sometimes these so dark beers can be, can't they? Yeah. There are little tiny delicate notes of everything. Nothing's overbearing, isn't it? Sometimes they do a coffee one, it's really overbearing with the coffee, but because I think it's got diff it's got the coffee, it's got the coffee and the chocolate, right? None of them are like too strong in there. It's definitely got a good flavour and smell. Mmm. 
but nothing's really jumping out as being overpowering. No. Just like a general kind of niceness. Yeah, it's it's flavours, and you definitely do have the feel that it's not like a like it says it's an it's like a, it's a, a light it's light in body. Mm. So it's, it's not like a, it's not like a yeah. Thing. I mean, I've been a nigga. It's a pint of heavy because mm -hmm. it's heavy beer, mm. and that means like it's usually high alcohol <laughs> and and dark. Yeah. Like, uh, and that's kind of typical of a pint of hairy. Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Mm. Uh, it definitely is like, you know, I said the lightness. Uh, you know, he, he, it's like a dark beer, but it's not like a dark beer. You know, you see, it's not. It's that's a, nice. I yeah, think. I do as well. Uh, it's I, kind of like it's like a, a dark beer, but for a hot day, you can drink yeah. this. In a, you can drink this in the summer and feel like refreshingness because mm. it's light. Yeah, but also have the nice sort of multi flavours rather than the hoppy flavours. It's just called Brown Ale, so Newborough Brown Ale. Mm. Now the only, well the famous one over here, I don't know if it's a worldwide, is Newcastle Brown Ale, which is nice, but I think this is a bit superior mm. flavour wise. I mean Newcastle yeah. Brown Ale is a good drink, but yeah. I think this tastes better. Yeah, I think so. Do you? Yeah. It's kind of like mass produced the old Newcastle Brown yeah, Ale now, yeah, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of like, it's, it's, it's decent. It's not bad. Yeah, it could do maybe. It's not not so malty though, is it? It's just like yeah. a really, that simple like, you know, yeah. like a session beer. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah, I could drink this. I could drink. I could drink about. Yeah. I'm going to score this probably. I could drink four or five. Of yeah, these. I reckon. I'm going to go four and a half. Yeah, cool. I'll go. Yeah. I'll go with four. I think. Mm. Definitely the top one so far. Yeah. I'm still thinking that I've got thinking, like mouth. Feels of the previous one, you know. I feel like I'm still trying to get rid of. I don't think you ever. Some of the sourness. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get the taste of that out of your mouth. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to find the strongest mouthwash <laughs> on earth <laughs> to get rid of that one. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not exaggerating, folks. That is mm. absolute. That was absolutely foul. And that one was not far behind. But yeah, this is lovely. Yeah. But not over bearing in any way. Just like there's no like it, it talks about toffee and chocolate and, and coffee, but mm. you, you couldn't sort of say, oh yeah, they're they bursting with those. It's mm. like just tiny little hints yeah. of them all. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's very subtle. Yeah, definitely. Nothing is overpowering. No, and that's what makes it you mm. know one that you could drink lots of yeah. because you're not going to get your yeah. taste buds overblown by no, something. No, no. It sometimes but happens. You can taste it. The mm. taste is nice. Get, yeah, but it doesn't sort of stick. No, you know what I mean. Don't stay there and make you think. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you know you, I mean? there's one or two coffee ones that we've had, yeah. and like the coffee just drags on for yeah, about an hour, yeah. stuck yeah. in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. It's, it's, it's like you've it's like you've uh, uh, gargled at the bottom mm. of the grounds in the bottom of, the, of a coffee pot or something. It's been sitting there for two days. Absolutely. <laughs> but this one is not. I, like I wish that. we had more of this. Actually, yeah, this is this is definitely one you could have a good session of. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Yeah. I'm enjoying this too much to drink it yeah. too quickly. Yeah, you get that sometimes. You don't. You don't want to take the last mouthful because yeah. you're just like, ah, oh, I've not had that again yeah. <laughs> until, I, until I see it somewhere. Yeah. Well, Nubra Brown Ale is mm. very nice, mm. and I recommend it. Um, cream of the crop so far. Yeah, definitely. And head. head uh, what did you say? Well, congratulations to Nubra for making <laughs> a brown ale that's. Yeah, typical yeah. of brown ale. Yeah, but also very nice. Yeah, it's unusual because most of the American companies, I assume this are American because it's supposed to be a whole New York um, yeah. based thing. There's actually is there an address on there. Know. It's, it's got about... the American guidelines on it on the side. Look, right. you know, if you're pregnant, do not drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see there's a there's uh... <clears throat> oh, I say. Yeah, it's New York, Newburg, New York, oh, or Newburgh, Newburgh, Newburgh. Oh, yeah, you could probably Newburgh. I don't think anyone actually Newburgh, did he? Oh, maybe they did. But yeah, because B U R G H is in Borough. Yeah, yeah, Burra. yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. But I wasn't too sure. Maybe it's spoken differently. Yeah, Burra, Burra. Burra. But it's yeah. not. It's not a Schlager. Newburgh, Newburgh, Newburgh. True. Right. <laughs> next, next beer, bro. Next beer. I'll allow you to have another sim, please, as soon as you're being a good boy. Oh, thank you, bro. Oh, you're not going to feed me. I'll, I'll take a bite. <laughs> oh, I wanted to feed him like a, like a well trained puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got another pan out of grapefruit IPA. Well, one of those two do. Oh, it's two IPAs, and then we've got the start. We'll right say the start to last, yeah. yeah. All right, it's grapefruit. By tradition. One. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, huh? Yeah. I'm not mm. supposed to have grapefruit. 
for medical reasons. Check the instructions, there's no actual grapefruit in here. It doesn't say that, it says water hops by yeast, so yeah. that should be alright. And most things that say they taste of things don't always taste of things anyway, do they? Well, it says on the side, session, cool. is that say on the side though? Session IPA with grapefruit. Oh. With grapefruit? That's what it says here. We don't say anything about grapefruit on the side, on the no. tin. If, um, I, if I get all blotchy and start throwing yeah, out, yeah. it's probably because I've had grapefruit. No, no, it says infused with natural grapefruit flavour. Alright, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Right, Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, located Effortless just... Effortless Grapefruit IPA. <laughs> located just north of New York City, is the largest and longest operating brewery in oh, Westchester County. Is that a hop or is that a bud of a marijuana plant? <laughs> <laughs> Founded in 2006 by Scott Vaccaro, the brewery began to gain widespread notoriety early on for their sour and barrel aged beers, winning their first of eight GABF medals in 2007. Today, Captain Lawrence is widely known for brewing extremely fresh IPAs, highly drinkable lagers, and a range of acclaimed speciality beers. Tasting notes, this light bodied ale is full of fragrant grapefruit and citrus aromas. The flavour oh, profile yeah. is very well balanced with a touch of bitterness to balance a subtle Ooh. sweetness. It's very great. It's very Dry good. hopped with citrusy mosaic and palisade hops and infused with natural grapefruit flavour. Right, it's, it's got very hoppy, uh, very um, fruity. Yeah. It's got three in hoppy, fruit and smooth, yeah. two in sour and bitter, mm. uh, one in malty and one in floral and one in sweet. Mm. So, interesting. Okay. Well, let's hope it's not like any of those two disgusting ones. But do we chin glasses? Not all over time. Normally, just do it for the first one. Just oh, like one chin chin. Hey. Okay. It's definitely got a fruitiness, hasn't it? Definitely yeah. got a very, possibly grapefruity, I yeah, suppose. Very citrusy. Great. Mm. Okay. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a bit fruity for my liking, though. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, definitely. I like that. I definitely. I would say, would you say it's grapefruit, though? That's, yeah, citrus. It's definitely some kind of citrusy flavour, but it's not so sharp yeah, as grapefruit. No, but it's got a kind of like an underlying yeah. sort of. Um, of the almost, you know the pith that you get. You know the little, yeah. you know, the oranges are made up into little tiny little sections of like orange. I don't know what they what they call, but it almost felt like a tasty one of them. I had one of them in my mouth when I first drunk a bit. You mean the pith? Not the white bit. That's the pith. Yeah. The white bit. Oh, the segments are kind of made up of little, like, small, like, oh, yes, yes, tear yes, drops of, like, yeah, orange yeah, yeah, all yeah. connect together, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always felt like I had, like, a bit of that mm. in my first mouthful. Mm. Um, but no grapefruit are made up of that kind of um, yeah. constitution as well, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. All citrus are. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But it's not as um, mm, I like bitter it. as I, I think of as grapefruit. No, not you at know? all. It's not sharp. Yeah, grapefruit's got that sharpness. When you have, mm. when you put some sugar on it and have it for oh. breakfast, have a grapefruit for breakfast. I just did a little internal burp and I got the fizz up my nose. <laughs> you know, yeah. Definitely grapefruit. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. I like this. Mm. Mm. Definitely doing this on a hot day in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little. Oh, I've got a little bit of a sharp on the back of the throat as well. Mm. A little bit. Um, I'm not sure I could do with any of these today. It's, it's kind of like. Yeah, a bit too much on the fruity scale for my liking. Um, yeah, no, I like a little it. bit sour. I don't normally like really fruity things, mm. but this is quite nice. Maybe mm. it's because it's grapefruit. But it's I'm not been able to drink. Yeah, or eat grapefruit for like seven years now. Yeah, right. so maybe it's just like, oh yeah, grapefruit, yeah, because <laughs> I've been avoiding it. <laughs> yeah, and I like grapefruit. Which is sad, really. <laughs> What is it about grapefruit then? Why grapefruit are not like oranges or I lemons? I don't know. I can eat other citrus, mm. but not grapefruit. It's so good my medication. Yeah. Strange. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this though myself. It's got too much of a... Uh, it's a little bit on the uh, side. Yeah. No, yeah. not as bad as the other two. No. No, it's different. It's definitely different. The weird fizzy sourness them, of them, them two sour ones. This one's just got that kind of... Uh, so you've got, I don't know if brackish is the right word, but somehow it comes in and pops in my head. No, not at all brackish. But it's just like... That was brackish. Those yeah. two disgusting things right. we had earlier. Mm. But this is... That's got a kind of aftertaste. Mm. And it does linger. Yeah. Well, it's that kind of 
fruit aftertaste. I'm kind of like you, you're really, going to really, show you what that is. It's got a twang. Yeah, it, it, does, <laughs> it does come off as a, as a bit of a powerful twang. We should do one with that. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. you wouldn't like all the beers. No, that's the whole point, though. You don't have to like all the beers. You just got to no. try them. And no, I mean, but he likes lagers. So yeah, you don't really like ale. I'm sure he'd give it a try, though. Yeah, <laughs> we should do one with Dad. <laughs> our 82 year old granddad. Oh. Oh, granddad. Our 82 year old dad. Yeah. Well, you won't be here next time. I get a carry after. What do you mean I won't be here? You're not gonna be here, are you? I'm not thinking of dying any time soon. No, you'll be in Leicester. I mean, when I'll be in London, you twong. Well, you could invite me down. Yeah, I'll just take it around Dad's and I'll have a drink with Dad instead. Yeah, I know, you miss it. But you know, they're only small, they're only small cans. Yeah, no, no, that's alright. That's the best for the tasters we're having. <laughs> I suppose you're getting drunk on it. <laughs> Remember, no. getting drunk is a happy side effect. Mm. <laughs> not, to be, not to be denied. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, we're drinking it so quickly as well. Even though it's only small amounts. It does get you... Yeah. Yeah. I feel a bit tiddly. Oh, definitely, yeah, mm. definitely. It does get you a bit on the on the tiddly side. <laughs> Listen, you do when you do a twelve uh, can one. Twelve can. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we used to do like a beer and vinyl, where we'd have two bottles while we're reading, listening to the vinyl, and then we'd go out and do twelve a twelve can one, and then we'd just go to sleep for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I kicked the cat. Is it? No. <laughs> Uh, you are drunk. You think a mat and a cat? Uh, they, make, they, they, they may rhyme, but they're not yeah. the same thing. It wasn't a cat or a mat. It was just a mat. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. This is a little bit there uh, now. I'm kind of like, ooh. Yeah. I've got to say. Yeah. As it goes on, the it sort of cloys. Yeah. Your mouth. Yeah. And the back of the throat, doesn't it? Yeah. Because probably I'm, I'm less like, a fan of that flavour. Mm. It got to me quicker than it got to you. Yeah. And like, yeah, but as you say, it's got a, that, the twang, as Dad would say. Yeah. I say I wouldn't be able to do more. It leaves le the twang in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It's you don't really want that from a no. beer. Starting to do the like I say the, the, old, the old like uh, the eye like or, you know yeah. the, uh, <laughs> kind of thing. So I'm looking like I started to look more like Igor, the uh, you know, like uh, yes, master. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I just had a burp, a burp taste. You know why that. I know when you're drunk, bro? Yeah, because you're like, yeah, one eye, yeah, one eye, one eye goes yeah. close my eye. <laughs> yeah, and I try to stay awake, so I keep one eye open at times so I can stay awake. Yeah, yeah. I leave this eye awake for a bit, and then I know this eye I'll be awake for a little while. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's typical you. Yeah. I just did a burp, and I had about four different beer flavours all popped up at the same time as I, as I burped that time. It was like, Ooh, oh, that's a mix. Mm. Especially if you had the um, yeah, I had the sours oh, coming out, and oh. a bit of the brown beer, and oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a little sick in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you sure it was a burp, and not like. A, <laughs> <laughs> he felt the flavours anyway. Mm. Oh, ooh. yeah. Mm. Actually, as it got on, it, oh, it turned a bit. Yeah, it was a bit too like yeah, I've had enough of that now. Yeah. How much? At first, I was really like, yeah. oh, this is nice. What would you then, score it? Three. Three points, you reckon you could do three? No, I'm giving know. it a one. I'm going to give it a one. One would be more than enough for me, I think. One and a half. Yeah, maybe. fair enough. Fair maybe enough. not. Well, yeah. True, I forgot, you gotta drink a pint of it, haven't you? That's yeah. Right, that's what it scores. That's what scores in pints you'd want to drink in a session. Actually, well, yeah, one and a half. Yeah, one and a half I could probably do. Alright, cool. And that is because I've got to get back to work or something. You know? Yeah. Like well, a lunchtime that, sort of. Oh, right, yeah, beer. okay. But, but, but then not because I have to get back to work, but because I don't really think yeah. it's that great. Well, but, that, my way but I would stay with the same one. The way I think of it, like, I kind of think of it, you go on out for an, an, a. You, right, you've gone out for a, to the pub. And you're like, you're not sure how many pints you're going to have. It doesn't really matter how many pints you're going to have. But you just kind of like, so you have a pint and you're, you, see, you get a taste of it and want to drink more and more. So like, you know, you go to the pub and you end up like, oh, this is so good. You have five pints and you, yeah. get, and you get told off by the missus. Yeah. That kind of thing. Or you have yeah. one pint and you think, oh, that's enough. I'm going home now. Yeah, that'd be like the one yeah. pint I'm going home now. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. Well, maybe you say, well, I'll have another one, just give it a taste of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, yeah, well, if you have one pie... Oh, it'd be a different pie, yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be the same one. Yeah, that's, yeah. that can happen. Yeah, but... Right. Yeah. right then, so next beer. Next beer. Two more beers to go. I'm still here. Yes. <laughs> it's a massive India Palau. It looks like a normal sized can to me. It's not very big, so I don't know why it's giving it massive. Put it closer. It's a massive! massive! <laughs> right, see? 
Right then, you call. Now, massive is slang for something that's really oh, good. Oh, seven percent. Woo! Wow, a seven percent IPA. That's going to be oh, Long wow. Island. Oh wow, this is my kind of beer. Long Island, right? So, um, when it comes, winner. oh, can oh, I can you, you, can you, you can read this your award first. winner is one of the first beers we ever produced, and is a favourite of ours here at GSB Great South Bay Brewery. Uh, hops are added at every stage of the brew to give this beer its floral aroma and citrusy hop flavour. With just the right amount of bitterness and a crisp malt finish, it will soon become one of your favourite IPAs. Oh, good. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I like the 7%. That sounds good. 7% is quite high for, a, for um, an IPA. IPA. Yeah, yeah, well, no, yeah, it can be. Mm. I think it's probably one of the highest I've known. Yeah. Okay, so you read bit that was on down here as tasting notes practically. Oh, sorry. That's all right, that's matter, that's matter who reads it. Right, so Great South Bay. When it comes to Bay Brews, it's not about how much they can make, it's about how much better they can make it. Oh, all of their ooh. beers are craft brewed using the highest quality malts and the finest hops they can get their hands on, using recipes that have been endlessly tinkered with and processes that are meticulously executed. And did you read the, read the bit where it says hops are added at every stage yeah, of the yeah. brew? Yes, wow. Yeah. So that's going to make it, well, I said it's only got four in hoppy. So we've got four in hoppy, three in floral, smooth and bitter, two in malty and sweet, one in fruit and zero in sour. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this looks quite nice. Doesn't look bad, doesn't look bad. Bit, bit, bit cloudy. Uh, cloudy. That might be because they're not using findings to clear it up. Which is good. Yeah, which is good for... It doesn't actually say there's any findings in it. No, I don't think it does. We never see it saying that, but I think that's one of the things they don't actually put... They actually put that in England. I think they do. I, don't I think they're supposed to. Well, yeah. they do in England, I think. Yeah, I wonder. Anyway. Uh, Alan's in bold. Alan's in bold? What's that mean? What? <laughs> Where did he even say that? <laughs> at the bottom there, look. Water, malted barley, hot Oh, does it mean allergens, maybe? Alan's in bold. I think they meant allergens, maybe. I don't know. Alan's? Malted barley, yeah, I imagine it's an allergen, maybe. Some people are allergic to barley, aren't they? It says allergens. Yeah, I mean, you don't say allergens. <laughs> I know you don't say allergens. I'm guessing. Surely they would have proofread it. <laughs> Alan? <laughs> Alan's in bold, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's always been bold, that Alan. <laughs> cheers. All right, cheers again. All right, so. Nothing super wild on the floor. No, I'm smell. not getting anything like that. Yeah, let's go in and see. Mmm, that's nice. Oops. The test is Ooh. if you suck it out of your moustache. Yeah. And it still tastes good. <laughs> so it's filtered, it's filtered through your moustache for extra filtered taste. Filtered through the wiry hair <laughs> of my moustache, yeah. For flavour. And it still tastes of last night's gravy. <laughs> <laughs> last night's kebab. Yeah. <laughs> No, I have showered before yeah. doing this show. <laughs> or if you're lucky, last night's sexualness. I've got all green and red. I've got all sorts of different colours on that. Yeah, I think it's the, the sun coming for the for Why that don't side. we do the blinds? It's kind of like, oh, it's too late now. <laughs> we could have done it, couldn't we? Look, I'm getting all sorts of colours oh, yeah. there. That's what oh, yeah, it's bouncing off your head. I, I think because there's this... I mean, it's bouncing off my head. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the sun's bouncing off your fat head. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> there's um, there's some jewels, kind of like crystals hanging in the window. Oh, yeah, I wonder yeah, if it's catching off them. I'm sorry, I, I had to close the blinds. Yeah, go for it. It's a bit late now, but never mind. Sorry. It don't matter. Actually, that's not all for that's not all for Oh, a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's less colour, rainbow colour thingy going on. Oh, um, that's got another. Oh, I can't work out my. Alright. Now, to me, that's a smooth beer. Yeah. And it hasn't got the such a twang as. Mm. So it's got that, that smoothness aspect to it, I suppose. I wouldn't think it was hoppy, super hoppy though. Sometimes the hoppy no. ones can really be like, ugh. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't like, feel that. But it's, got, it's got some hop oh. flavour, but it's not like overbearing. Mm. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'd, don't dislike it, but it's definitely not one that I instantly like fall in love with at all. Mm. But I can't say I'm I... always wary of beers that are cloudy. Mm. 
I think a lot of these craft ones do like have cloudiness because they're, mm. they're stepping away from like. Is this in the one that was described as a white beer or a wheat beer? I don't know. I thought I saw one saying vice beer on it at one point. It doesn't say that. I'm sure, I remember one that said vice beer on it somewhere in on the back. Maybe I imagine it. Sure, when we were looking yesterday when we got out of the packet, one of them said vice beer, didn't it? But it can't be the last one because the last one's a blinking stout. Okay. Some states will only give you five cents for recycling this. <laughs> but if you uh, live in Michigan, you get ten cents. Ah, oh, well, well done, well Michigan. Well done, Michigan. Well done, Michigan. Well done, Michigan. Hats off to you. <laughs> um, does it taste like seven percent? Don't taste like it doesn't 7%. taste like seven, no. does it? Which is kind you, of a good which thing. Which is not a good thing. You think so? You prefer it to taste like it's strong. No. Ah. No, because when it does taste like seven percent, you're aware that it's seven yeah. percent. And when it doesn't taste like seven percent, you drink it. Oh yeah, yeah. it's good. Exactly. That's what I was. And like, then you're like, fuck it yeah. out. So in what, some respects, it's good because you, yeah. you, you you wouldn't respect it. Mm. Like you think, oh, this doesn't taste like it's very strong, no. and you'll be down in it and yeah, all be more. And the next thing you know, why are my legs not working? Yeah. <laughs> Why have I nose dived onto the bar? Yeah. Why am I face down in the toilet? <laughs> yeah. Talking to Ralph and Huey. <laughs> and not just the toilet, the urinal. Oh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waking up and people are pissing the urinals next to you like, <laughs> oh my God, oh, what's my life come hey, to? Some of the things we've been and seen. <laughs> never urinals though. We've oh. never done urinals. I don't think I've ever fallen asleep in a urinal. No. I've fallen asleep in a cubicle, but that was because I was on... Uh, exotic uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> right, fair enough. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll fall asleep uh, on the bog. Uh, exactly, you know, exotic pharmaceuticals. Right. They're not really pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Well, maybe they are, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they were. Yeah. Say, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I remember a party, I think it was my birthday party, when you was with Laura. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I went to hey, the toilet. Hey, she was a girl. Yeah. I love Laura. Mm. Hey Laura, if you ever watch this, you know I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> yeah. I will always love you. <laughs> Didn't mind. Yeah, she's nice, Laura. You oh, just spilled some of your beer. She's, oh. lovely. she's a lovely lady. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get this to me, Eric. <laughs> hey, Eric's almost hey, fine and gentlemanly compared it's to you. Beer. You can't just waste beer, even though it's horrible shit like this. Which one? That one. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a flashback to that one. I am. Yeah. I'm probably gonna puke in a minute. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Oh, is that again? Stop no. swirling it around, you uh, blinking this is muppet. My, this is my. <laughs> This is my antidote to what Dad does. Cause yeah. This is, he gives it the head. He doesn't still. give it such a big... Yeah, but Dad doesn't spill it all over the table like you and say suck it off the table. Say a small glass. <laughs> <laughs> is there some hanging on my nose? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Got half a table up your nose. It's all dark again. I know, it's the light outside. It's, it's gonna, this one's going to be a really weird video, I think, with light and dark. Whoa! We're still here! <laughs> It's just, uh, what can you do? We've got the light on overhead, I, I hoped it would uh, keep it good. The cat's sitting staring at us. He's like, the yeah. cat's looking at us. He's like, what are these crazy <laughs> guys doing, man? <laughs> He's a French cat, we've decided. Mm. He looks French. Oh. We decided his name's actually secretly Philippe. Yeah, <laughs> it's Philippe, not Ashley. Oh, do you think uh, Ashley, that's no name for a cat. <laughs> I am Philippe. <laughs> uh, um... I think I'd go. I think I'd go uh, maybe even three for this one. Actually, mm. I don't mind this one at all. It's like there's nothing that's, super. That doesn't sound overpowering. I say just above average. Yeah, I know. But when I was thinking for a minute, I might only give it a one or a two. Oh really? Oh yeah. No, I think it's better than that. Yeah, but that's because you've got different taste buds to me. Yeah. You, you have different flavors that yeah, you like. So I mean, there's no horrible. Yes, about it. No, exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's, there's no sort of super like flavors one it's way quite or another. Dry. Mm -hmm. Would you say that maybe that's the hop? Maybe that's the hop. It yeah. is. But, uh, so yeah, it's funny saying that something's dry when it's like wet. Yeah, <laughs> basically. But, but you know, I know what you mean. People, I'm sure people understand what you're getting at. Mm. I don't know. It's weird. But it's not like too dry. You'd go. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Mm. Doesn't suck all the moisture out of your mouth. No. Yeah, um, 
But is that <sighs> twang at the end? That yeah. Stays in your mouth for too long. Mm, maybe. I mean, people like that. Some people like that. Yeah. I don't particularly like that. I like to sort of drink it, taste it, and then mm. it's it will fade away quicker, quicker than. Mm. Rather yeah. than hanging around, hanging around and dragging its feet, reminding you that you've drunk it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll go for two actually. Unless it's a really good beer mm. and you really like it, and then that aftertaste, if it stays with you, yeah, that is nice. But some beers that stay with you, when they're only a sort of okay beer, mm. you don't really want. I think I might be feeling the seven percent a bit now. I so. am definitely feeling the seven percent. Mm. I was feeling the three and a half percent. <laughs> <laughs> After the fours of yeah, obviously, because I'm a big burly man. You can drink. <laughs> but, but daytime drinking is always the we can mm. get you drunk the most. Mm. It always without fail. Absolutely, you I have two pints of a lunchtime. Yeah, you, like, you that's, did, it. You that's the sleep. rest of the afternoon. Yeah. 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 It's gone, isn't it? It's like, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. One more go. Oh yeah, let me have some food. Because my enormous breakfast from about three hours ago is starting to wear off. Um. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm, these are nice. Pea chips. Quite funny uh. shape. They look like an ear roll to you. <laughs> yeah. You know on um, Deep Space Nine, that that quark. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The, the, the thing, is that not the shape of a quark ear? Was it fing finger fingeretti or finger? I can't remember what name was. I was never that much into no. Deep Space Nine. It's not like fingy. Fingy, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, Put a comment down below if you can remember the name yeah. of Quark's race. Make a comment, you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, wasn't it Quark? Was it the race, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, Quark no, no. Name. his name, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was Fingy or something like that. Yeah. No, it definitely sounds like. Ferengi. No, Ferengi is the type. Wasn't Ferengi the type of alien? Yeah, the race. Oh, so Quark was Ferengi. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Go well, dark again. Oh, oh yeah, well, well we're still dark. here. Yeah. That is really weird. Bro, your camera is shit. I think it's the light outside going no, back over there. No, it's not changed at all. It's your bloody auto focus all time. No, it doesn't go dark though. It goes blurry. It doesn't go dark. Maybe it does. Yeah. It does. You need to get a new camera. Uh, I think it do you anyway. won't be doing any video things. I thought it was to do with the light outside going up brighter and less brighter. Not been no. It's been pretty constant. There's but no cloud to make it go no. darker, is it? Anyway, know. you're going to do the reading? Yeah, I'm going to do the reading while you do the pouring. You this is our last one, and this is why it's all going to pop. Sorry, folks. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this one. There's other than the amazing name, the old stout will never go out of style. This is Evil Twins. Well, so far, it's had one hit and one miss, hasn't it, Evil Twin? Yeah. This is 5.4%. No, did it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, tasting notes. Ye old stout will never go out of style. Classic, slightly roasted stout with notes of chocolate, coffee, <laughs> Dark fruits and burned sugar. Despite the low ABV, the oats give it a fuller, smooth body. So it's 5.4. Fuck! So, that's not a low ABV. No, it's not that low, is it? It's got five malty, four smooth, three sweet, uh, two bitter, one hoppy, and nothing in sour, floral, or fruit. Good, it shouldn't be. No. Not for a stout. He's definitely got the hang of pouring while I do the reading, has he? So it hasn't yeah, quite yeah, got the, the hang of it. The viewers want to see how expertly I pour yeah, a beer. Yeah, but they can see you do that while I'm still doing the talking. And no, no, the video doesn't go into four yeah, hours. Yeah, right. <laughs> it won't be four hours. No, it won't be four hours. I'm exaggerating. Yeah. But still, my dear. Listen, I, I used to do the pouring normally. I'm the, normally, I do the pouring. Yeah, and, uh, you know I'm a pro, so. Eric does the reading. Oh, does he? Mm. Well, why didn't you do it that way anyway? What do you, you mean? think I can't bloody read or something? What's that? Oh, you could have done, but I know you're a pouring expert. Well then, stop moaning about it! Like, it's just the fact that you're not pouring while I'm talking. <laughs> so we've yeah. got, we just, people yeah, have to we, wait. You know, we have, you know, normally when people do like... Uh, uh, minutes. They have like some sort of, you know, information given to the person participating who doesn't normally no, do it. It's the fact that I've told you like four times already. Oh, I thought you never got it by now. I've never listened to it anyway. So. <laughs> This is this is why you don't work with brothers, honestly. It's the way you don't work with brothers. This is why I have Eric. <laughs> you don't love me. No smell? No, none of them have, really. No. I think I know his buds have gone. Yeah, that could be that as well. Could be that. <laughs> Too much cocaine. <laughs> Not really. I've just got a runny nose always, I'm afraid. Oh yeah. I've definitely got some nice. Mm. It's very malty. Mm. I like the malty. Yeah. 
definitely got some nice maltiness. Mm. I think it's again, it's a bit like the brown one. Uh, it's like where it's got a little bit of flavour of, of the things it says, but without anything overpowering. Mm. It's heavy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I even licked a bit off the tin. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, this is the best one. This is definitely a five for me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a very good style. That is a nice one. I know we're playing with the dark ones. Yeah. And probably that's why we're getting, well, uh, why I'm going to give you the best yeah. score that I've got so far. Yeah, me and Eric tend to give the dark ones. Yeah. He occasionally will do a high score for a lighter one as well. And sometimes with the dark ones, you get one that's like too coffee fied. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, you know, yeah. it's, it's like sucking up the. I don't quite the, understand the. Uh, I mean, some coffee beers are nice. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But when definitely. they sort of stick, when they, they, they overpower They really it. beat you over the head with yeah. the coffeeness. It's yeah. like, oh. No. Uh, you know, have a, have a blinking, uh, yeah. have a word. Have a word. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Nia. Calm down a bit. <laughs> you know, you're going to come and join in our video. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Who are these weirdos? I've never seen them before, apart from yesterday. <laughs> We're our sisters, if you didn't realise. I don't know, we tell you we're our yeah, sisters now? No, I think we did, yeah. The first video was we're going to our sisters and we're going to put them in the fridge and... Oh, that's right. Mm. Yeah. There was a slight little hint of a aftertaste of... Um, no, but... Maybe a bit of coffee, maybe. Not as... But no, not as, it doesn't linger. No, it doesn't. It it's just, not even that wildly... Uh, it's overpowering offensive. in the mouth. No, no, How is not, it? Not it's just a nice, slightly mm. malty... Mm. Moorish because of the fact yeah. it's not overpowering in, in any way. Yeah, like I can say, it's one you could quite happily drink. Without. I would drink five pints of this mm. and I would stagger home 5.4%. But, <laughs> but you'd be like, Yeah, you'd feel like I would, en I would, I would enjoy those five points. You'd have an enjoyable five session, points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd know you had an enjoyable session, it'd be one that you yeah. look out for another time. Absolutely, yeah, that's nice, definitely. Mum would have liked this, yeah, yeah. Oh, mum would have gone. Mm. For that every time. Mm. That is nice. It has a little like twang. Yeah. But it's a pleasant one. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't stay there too no. long. Yeah. So you, every time you have a taste of it, you get it again. And renew it. Like, yeah. yeah. And then, Rather than like it's already yeah. there, cloying. And yeah. Like, over, and the next one adds another level of that. And it's yeah. Like, you know, waiting. Yeah. And, and it builds and yeah, builds yeah. until it's like, oh, that's Yeah, it's like, I had too much there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you get the taste, it's there. Oh, it's mm. not quite a nice little taste. You try and work out what it is, and then it fades quickly. Mm. doesn't drag its heels, and then you have another mouth when you get the same yeah. thing again. What's yeah, that? Yeah. It's, it's, that's what yeah. makes it more. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because every time you taste it, you're like, oh mm. yeah, I do like that. Rather than it lingering, mm. like saying, like an, an old uh, ex girlfriend or something, mm. yeah. <laughs> stalking you. Yeah. Lingering like a mate at a party who doesn't want to go home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, you like, the one who sounds a lot, you're yeah. long asleep with a yeah. tag in his hand. Yeah. And you were wearing your pajamas, so, oh, it's awfully late, isn't it? <laughs> wearing pajamas. You could say for a swing example of a name. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might know who you mean. <laughs> no, that was a completely made up name for it, just for a purely for this sample. Of course it was. <laughs> but we all know who you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there might be a guy called Mick that we know, but it may not. He's a lovely bloke. Uh, yeah. He knows who he is. Jesus Christ, that camera is dark. I can't see myself anymore. I, I hope it ain't the camera that's going dark and bloody light now, because it was going blurry and unblurry, but now it's. Because you can't redo it. There's no, no, there's no, no. Exactly, exactly. It's as dark as this beer. <laughs> You just have to turn it off and just listen to the voices. <laughs> and it'll be a radio show. Remember those? Mm. Radio shows. You still get them, you know. It's part of video, part podcast. Yeah. Mm. That's well, it's also I, one of the ones that you like, you don't want to have that last mouthful. No. Because you know you don't know when you're going to taste it again. Yeah, very so, very much so. This is definitely the winner for today. Mm. But that would be, uh, I would, I, I always thought that from the start before we even started drinking a beer. That's one of the reasons we're saving for last. Yeah. We got. We also. We have, know what we like. We have to do top three and bottom three, bro. What's your bottom? Oh. What's your bottom three? Well, it's definitely that one, which is the Brooklyn Bel Air Sour, mm. which you saw me nearly vomit with, mm. or I felt like I was going to. That one was even worse. Yeah, than that one. So, so that's oh, your bottom yeah. one. Mm. I wasn't I impressed with that. No. 
I thought that for Largo was. It was. It was like it was just, it was just like, like there was nothing wrong with it. There was, it was nothing flavor, wrong with it. Flavor, dead flavor. Exactly. That's what I mean. There was it was nothing. Wrong. It was flavorless. Yeah. It was. It wasn't at all nice. Mm. I hate to leave it around. Okay, I think so I'm going to have to go with you. I think I'll have to go with you the same, actually. Because yeah. that was just like, oh, God. That was, that was he, like vomit. It, it was bad on the eye. It looked horrible, just so some people with no taste buds could know it was still horrible. Even though oh, this one. This one was, oh, this one. This one was bad that as well. That one you're on about? Oh, this no. is the one that looked horrible as well. It, it, it was yeah. like a... If I'd seen that come out of a pa of a tap, yeah. I poured it out of a tap, I'd have gone, no, mate, I've changed the barrel, sorry. It looked like the piss bag of someone who had a really bad yeah. bladder infection. Yeah. Oh, oh, a catheter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah. And this one, this one was in comparison to those two, it was much nice, better. Yeah. But it had nothing going for no. it. It was just wet. It was wet, watery. It was, yeah. It was um, wet. flavour. Yeah. No flavour. Yeah. Wet and smooth with no real flavours. Yeah. So top three then. Uh, top three. Do you want me to go? No, this one weren't too bad. That weren't too bad. I think it was quite nice for an IPA and strong. Mm. And I like the brown ale. It was lovely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think those two are probably these, yeah, in I think the middle. Yeah, I think these two are in the middle. In the middle. And I, I'm gonna, I think that's third place. Yeah, same here. I think uh, we're exactly on the same. Yeah, we that's second place. So we're we, basically yeah. twins. <laughs> so we like everything the same. You know? <laughs> not really, we're not twins. But yeah, <laughs> no. Taste by twins. Yeah, taste by twins. And, also, and that is the all-time winner. Yeah, it was pretty but, much a no-brainer though, wasn't it? Because yeah. we had some that were fucking way crappy, horrible, mm. and some that were you know way much, obviously much nicer than the other ones. And yeah. it, I think Elwick would probably had the same. Mind you, Elwick likes sours, so he might have liked them sours. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I, I can't imagine. Elwick is a strange person. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you might watch this, it's gonna it's gonna kick your yeah, ass. Yeah, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's got strange taste buds. Yeah. It's a bit strange too. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Are you I'm gonna finish that beer or not? No, I'm enjoying it too you much. Can't finish I'm nursing it, mate. I'm nursing finished. it. In fact I'm gonna have the rest of yours. Look. I haven't got any left. Oh no, but you got drips. <laughs> you are gonna have my drips. I'm having your drips. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Drink it so we can finish the video. Oh, do we have to? Oh, I just, I just oh. stopped the video then. No, 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 no. You can't just stop the video without saying goodbye. No, you've got... Our, our sign-off is beer is good. Oh. So... <laughs> Not all beer No, beer is, beer is best. Beer is best. Beer is best. So ready? One, two, three. Beer is best! Beer is best. Beer is best. And makes you fit and makes you strong. Puts more muscle in your dong bong pong. Beer makes bonny Britons. Beer has stood the test. What did poor old Adam say to Eve? Beer is best.